tone. Uh, I know how to string up mallets and I know ins and outs. But I know that if I do this, as I'm not an experienced flourisher, my strings are going to get twisted and tangled up. Why is that happening? What do I need to do different? Yeah, well you have to, it's like golf, which I am trying now to master. No, I'm not mastering it very well. Um, <laughs> uh, really, it's just because, and it happens to all of us, like there just comes a time where you just have to quickly just loosen them up. Or maybe they just get caught up because your hands aren't in the right position. You can do things prior to, you know, your performance to kind of make sure that that's not. Sometimes it happens. Yeah. Like is every, does Tiger Woods hit every shot perfectly? No. Nope. Unfortunately. Going from spinning to catching, the answer is not throw the mallets on the drum, correct? Correct. The answer isn't just throw the mallets down and be done. Drop the stick and then close it. Kind of like you're shaking a hand. So, you'll see. You know, this is a drum, of course, and I can't stress enough the importance of being able to play your notes in time. Yeah! That's the most important thing, as sweet as all this is. You have to be able to catch it so that you can come down and play in time. And if you're doing something very intricate, like in here, and you try and catch, or like you try and catch with your middle finger, it's not gonna work. Open, close. I would love to.